how's it going everyone? Well, this episode, we're going to start working on the playing field on our 1973 Bally Monte Carlo EM Pinball Machine. And if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And we'll get that out of the way. Uh, this episode, like I said, we're going to work on the playing field. We're going to start getting it touched up. I don't have it on because most of the light bulbs are out anyway, out of it anyway, while we work on the playing field. So we're just going to work on it in the in the dark, so to speak. If you haven't been watching this series, uh, the first episode we went over the machine, what we had to do to it. Uh, the next three after that were all about uh, cleaning the boards, getting all of our leaf switches and contacts cleaned up. Uh, then we did a, a boatload of them. Well, we did two of them. We did an episode, uh, part one and part two, of doing all the body work on this machine and getting it all, the outside of it all touched up and looking good. So now I think we're down to touching up the playing field. We've got, got a little bit to do on it. Uh, a lot of people would just leave it alone the way it is, but I like to keep doing them just to keep practicing and mixing paint and making them look the best we can. Uh, thank God down in here nobody's ever going to see that once you put the skirt on it, so we don't have to worry about it looking, looking like that. <laughs> But, and that's a big subject, but. And so we got quite a bit. We got some green here. We got a little bit of blue, some black. Uh, we got some white missing here. And we got, oh, some round of bumpers here. We got some up in here, some white, some black there, red, some more white. You know, and some black lines missing. So we're just going to kind of methodically go through and just start touching up everything that we can. Uh, there'll be some, one, there'll be some point that uh, no matter you do any more, it's going to be the same. You know, it's, you're not going to improve it. But this you can see as you're playing it. I mean this sticks out like a sore thumb right in your face. Same with here. You're always seeing that and down in here with a stack of chips. Even if we just well you know we can do the this nice light blue if we can match that up but the black even just doing some black around it is gonna make it a lot look a lot better. And like I said it just Keep practicing. It gives me more practice on touching up these playing fields and making them look good. This one, after we get it all touched up, uh, I do have plans on clear coating this whole playing field to save what is on it. I just have to watch these buttons up here. You get too much clear coat on them and, and they're going to stick on you. These ones down here, it's not too bad to uh, clear coat around these type of buttons. Those aren't bad at all. But these little ones up in here, we may have to may have to just take a small brush and clear coat up in here and get this all done up. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of red missing in here. But like I said, I don't know if we'll mess with that too much up there because there's two posts that sit here and you'll never really see that little bit of red but I'm gonna touch up where is really is real noticeable I mean over here is not real real noticeable because you have a plastic here and you have your bumper and skirt sitting there but you know you have kind of a kind of have a straight shot while you're playing and that you're gonna see so we'll do it why? Because I said so. <laughs> and I want to do it. <laughs> so we're going to do it. 
Uh, I've been kind of thinking here too that on Sundays I post videos Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I'm kind of thinking on Sundays I'm going to start doing some just uh, you know something different. You know, instead of a pinball machine or something like that, maybe we'll do what's new in the what's new in the garage or you know what's coming in, what's coming up, whatever. I kind of even you know maybe uh, I have a video um, of a tour of my store in town, so I'll probably post that this Sunday. You know, stuff like that. Then comes summer, uh, same thing on Sundays. Uh, I'll take you a tour on my summer store that I have going on, uh, which we start that on uh, first weekend of May. It's an outdoor market, but I have a 40 by 40 building, permanent building set up down there. Um, I'm permanent all summer, six months out of the year we sell down there, and I'll, I'll take you down there and show you what what I sell down there and you know something you know just something different to kind of break it off of uh, doing a pinball machine or arcade machine or something like that I just you know I don't know we'll see I'm still kind of kicking that around but I, I do have one for this Sunday uh, today's Thursday uh, tomorrow's video is already um, post not posted but it's scheduled to go on tomorrow morning at seven o'clock so I try and get them on at seven o'clock now on Wednesdays uh, sometimes if I'm putting together a long video uh, like a you know 45 minute video with my internet service out here it takes me between 12 and 14 hours to upload a 45 minute video so sometimes on Wednesdays you'll see I won't it won't come up until 2 2 30 uh, and at the store is the same thing they call it our business internet but it's slower than what I have out here at the house so that's another reason why I kind of brought everything out here is it it's a little quicker and I can work work on the videos, getting them rendered and edited and all that in the evening and, and posted and scheduled to be posted. But yeah, I got some paint ready here. We're going to look at some colors to see if we can't match up this green as close as we can. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get pretty close to it. Uh, I'll get you set up in the tripod so we can really take a look at it and I can use uh, both hands and not just one hand and start throwing you back and forth. <laughs> so let me get you set up in the tripod and we'll take a look at some colors. Okay well I can't get you close enough in the tripod so we're gonna I'm gonna try and do this one-handed and we're gonna look at some colors. Um, I have uh, two, four, well, I got two, four, six, eight eight different colors of green here that we're going to look at and I know you know obviously that uh, that is wrong so we'll get rid of that already and same with this uh, spring green that is wrong too light uh, oh, that's another spring green. Okay, so we only have seven. Now this is one that this is uh, shamrock, and shamrock you can see same thing, too light. I have a big tube of light green, and that's obviously way too light. Uh, leaf green. Uh, this is a really this is really a crappy green but you can see that it looks good on the bottom of the bottle but let me get see if I can get the lid off without making a mess there we go and you can see that that is definitely too nasty put that 
lid back on, like I said, without making a mess. Now I got these two coming up are aren't too awful bad. This one, this is festive green. You can see festive green is close, but it's a bit too light. Camera makes it look a lot darker. But I want to save that, set that one off to the side because I have this holly green. Now that is pretty, looks pretty good. But I think this is going to be a little too dark. And if, if the holly green is too dark, I think we can mix a little bit of this just a little bit of this festive green in and get it pretty close that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little, first we'll start off with this, with this um, holly green. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit on there and see what that looks like and see how close it really is. Maybe it is, maybe it is closer than what it looks but I'm hoping it, it is, but if it is too dark, like I said, we can add a little bit of this festive green in, and maybe we can get it even closer. So let me, let me put a little dab on there, because I can't do this with one hand. I'm going to have to shut you off and come back and show you what that, what that holly looks like. Okay, folks, I think we have a winner. It's... It's off a little bit. Let me, let me get you over here. You can see it right, right there is where I touched it up. It's uh, a little, I don't know, <laughs> kind of a duller green than what uh, the playing field is, but it, it doesn't look too awful bad. I hope you're seeing this okay. Let me back off just a little bit. It's pretty close. I'm gonna mess mess around with a few colors. I'm gonna try that one and I know if I put any of that light green in there it I'll do a little bit more. I'll touch up uh, maybe a little bigger spot over here and we'll see how this I'll touch that one up and we'll see how that big one looks after I get it touched up did that one. Like I said, I did that big big one there. That's pretty, I think we do have a winner. I mean, it is a little, little, I don't know, a little darker, but not a whole lot. I think after we get a little bit of clear coat on that, I think that's going to blend in really nicely. So, uh, I think we're just going to go with that. I think... I do believe we do have a winner. What do you think? Can you see it from your house? How's it look? Yeah, I'm with you. We're going to go ahead and just touch it all up with that green, with that festive, or no, forest, or what the hell is it? It is holly, holly green, right out of the bottle. I may still just mix up a wee little bit I may put a little uh, lighter in it to see if I can get it to brighten up just a little bit I don't need much just a wee little bit so let's try that and before we go ahead and touch everything up just to see what we can do see if we can't get just a hair closer on our color now with the green done it's we're off a little bit on it. Not too awful bad, though. 
I did some black. Did the stack of chips. Uh, got that filled in over here. And just a few little touch-ups here and there with the black. I have a little bit more black to do in around the, the saucer hole. And now let's uh, let's do the white. I'll save that red for last. Let's do the white. There's more white to do than the red, so we have that red to do, and then we have a little bit of blue down in here. A couple little spots of red. We'll see what we can do do about that too. But the main thing right now is to, to do this white. I think if we get that white put in, everything's going to start uh, really coming together and looking good. So let me see what I can mix up on some white. Uh, there's so many different colors of white on this playing field because of fading and whatever, just wear uh, ground in dirt that you just can't get out. See like here we have, you know, it's it's darker on the top than it is here at the bottom. So let me see what I can do with some white. Now the white is done. Just had a little bit on our numbers here that we had to do. Uh, around the hole here. And that big area up around the 5,000 hole. And just a few little little spots here, here and here that we had to touch up. Now how I got that white is first I needed a an orange yellow. Here, hold on. Let me walk over and get my cheater wheel. Okay, now how I got that that white is first I started out with with a yellow orange. This is my cheater wheel. And you can see you take your yellow orange and add white to it and you come up with that. There's my yellow orange. How I got my yellow orange was I started out with some crayon orange and some gold golden yellow. I mix those up and come up with a nice little orange yellow and then off to the side I used some vanilla cream. Started out, you can see my vanilla cream sitting down in there. Started out and then I just started adding a little bit of my orange yellow at a time until I got it mixed up to where I liked it and it's not too dark uh, I could have left out just a tad I think but with the with the color of this white you're never gonna match it perfect because it's so inconsistent so just get it as close as you can up there like I said, when you're standing back here playing, let's see, let me get this a little bit better as to what you would actually be looking at. That's pretty close to what you'd be looking at, and you don't see it that much up there. Same with the green. You know, we touched up that green up there around the, the 6 and the 8 and the 4, but it's close enough to where it's not sticking out right in your face saying hey look at me I'm the wrong color so it's close enough and it'll it'll turn out really well when we're done next I'm gonna tackle this red and you can see how nasty that red is around here so I may end up if I can get it close enough, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead, I'll paint this whole square, maybe. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. You know, and then there's just a few spots, you know, up around that, on that chip. 
on the stack of chips down here. We've got one little spot there. There's not a whole lot of red that has to be done, so we're not going to have to mix up a, another big pile. What happens when you're mixing paint is you end up wasting more than what you used, used but you know at 87 cents a bottle don't worry about it just if you run out buy more if you use too much buy more it's not like they're ten dollars a bottle so let's tackle this red and see what we can come up with on that red got our red all filled in. Didn't turn out too bad. Close. But the uh, worst spot was what's that one right? Right there. But it, it's pretty close. Now all we got left is our blue. Now how I got that red was I used just some regular red. Let me back you off a little bit. Some regular red. Go on, focus up. And some Jacko Lantern Orange. I use. I had a had an kind of an orangish red, but I I just couldn't. It was going to take too much paint to to get where I wanted it to be. So I just grabbed that red, just a red, and put some jack-o'-lantern orange in it, and it uh, got we got quite a bit of orange in it to begin with. It's probably supposed to be, you know, nice red, but it is what it is. So I just put some orange in it, and we got it a kind of an orangish red. So it turned out well. Now all I've got left, like I said, is now we'll do the blue. I got an idea on the blue, so on the blue, I think it's going to be a little easier, but probably not. I'm going to take my, just some regular ocean blue and lighten it up with some snow and see what I can come up with. So let me get to mixing on that and hopefully we can get the blue all touched up and the playing field will be done being touched up. Okay, everything's done. We got our blue in. That's the only bad spot I don't like. The rest of it, yeah, I can live with. Uh, how I got my blue is I took some ocean blue and I thought I would all all I had to do was you know just kind of lighten it up and I'd get that blue but nope that blue has a lot of green in it so I took some festive green festive green mixed those two together and got a really nice uh, blue green and then I used the white and lightened it up that's how I come up with it and there was only a few spots that had to be done. So now, all we have to do is get it clear coated to protect everything and we'll be in good shape. So I'll put a coat of clear on this and then I'll bring you back and show you how it looks with the one coat of clear on it. And I'll, I usually end up putting two coats on it. I put one coat on it and then I'll take some uh, 4 ot steel wool and knock all the ridges down on it and then clear coat it again and then I steel wool it again to get some more of those little ridges down and then I take polishing compound and rub the hell out of it and then wax the living crap out of it so that's what I have coming up next so I'll get a coat of clear on this and then I'll bring you back and show you how it looks with one coat of clear. Okay, first coat of clear. 
I haven't uh, steel wooled it yet. I, I can get rid of a lot of uh, a lot of scratches in that when I steel wool it, and you can see this. There we go. See that rough area right in through there. And steel wool that, and put another coat on it, and we can smooth this whole playing field out and make it a lot faster. See, somebody else was doing something because there's a lot of sand marks there. And here's where we touched up. Like I said, you can tell how dry it is. It, it needs more. It needs more on. And up in here, you can see it, it'll blend in. It'll look, it'll look good. The only part that's not going to look too good is that stupid thing right there. I may fix it. It's starting to irritate me every time I look at it. There's only one coat on here, so I can go ahead and I can steel wool this down and I can do a little touch up, put a little black in it, put the at least put the black line in it. And I think that'll break it up and won't be so noticeable. So yeah, she's turning out pretty good. She's gonna be a fast machine. Every time I I do one of these and clear coat it, it makes them so much faster. Not as fast as putting that protective mylar on it, but it we can speed them up by clear coating the playing field completely and buffing it out real good. So I'll finish letting this dry. I got a couple of little wet spots on it and then, and then I'll steel wool it and put another coat on it and then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like with the second coat on it and then I'll show you then I'll steel wool it and buff it out and we'll see the final result. There's our second coat all laid down on there. Now all I have left is to steel wool it and buff it out. And uh, when you're doing these uh, you're gonna find out that you're gonna have uh, quite a bit of cleanup to do afterwards like all these little all your switches and all that your buttons you're gonna have to clean out around them so they they, they uh, move again <laughs> right now they're uh, all stuck so I'll have to flip this over and and uh, take them apart clean them up which I kinda I knew I was gonna have to anyway and and anyway that way we can uh, get this fixed up here too But I'll go ahead and get this steel wooled and then polished out and I'll bring you back and show you what the end result is. Because you can see there's still some, you know, there's some, there's bumps in it, lumpies and some dry spots. You know, even though you, you have a lot on it, you're still going to have a little bit of this going on until after you steel wool it down and then you can buff it out and then it's going to really really come out really nice so let me let me go ahead and get this all cleaned up and buffed out and you'll I'll show you the end result As you can see, we got her all done. That's two coats of clear on here. Steel wooled with a four ot in between each coat, and then a good hand rubbed layer of wax on it. That sucker really polished up nice. 
it's really nice and smooth. So I think we're going to have a fast playing field when we're done. We get this all finished up. And see that little area right there? That's where we touched that up. Which, if you stand back here, it just looks like some discoloration in the paint. Uh, I did put a little bit of black in there. It, it turned out just the way I figured it would. Just too fine for me to try and put back in. Got all of our all done up around the hole here. Really got that all nice and touched up. That kind of blended in kind of nice. Now it just kind of looks like with the dirt. <laughs> Matches the dirt. <laughs> but I think we, I think it turned out really nice. So that's going to be it for this episode. The next episode, we're going to start populating and getting this playing field done. So we can get it all buttoned up and then we can start troubleshooting some problems on this machine and get her finished up. Uh, we've come quite a ways with this. We got the cabinet all done. Got all of our switches cleaned and everything. So stay tuned. We're not finished yet. So until next time, see ya.